Donald Trump's Return in Bible Prophecy By Gerald Flurry Many are waking up to a forecast I made over three years ago. T seems that the harder Donald Trump's enemies try to destroy him, the more Americans support him. On January 15, Trump won the Iowa Republican caucus in a landslide victory. It was the strongest win by a presidential candidate in the Republican caucus's 48 year history. A week later, he won the New Hampshire Republican primary. He is virtually assured to be the Republican nominee, and if a fair election is held, a lock to regain the presidency, leftists in the media are beside themselves. Globalist foreign leaders are fearful. Why? These people hate Trump and want to fundamentally transform America. Yet it appears that one way or another, he is coming back, this is extraordinary. But if you have been reading The Trumpet, you know I forecast this right after the 2020 election. When the media said Trump was finished, even when many conservatives lost hope, I published an article titled, Why Donald Trump Will Remain America's President. Granted, that article said Joe Biden would never take office. So I didn't get every detail right. Events took a different turn, and I now see there were important reasons for that. But I said Donald Trump would return to the U.S. presidency immediately after Biden was inaugurated, I wrote, why I still believe Donald Trump is coming back. Referring to that earlier article, I wrote, I made a mistake, and I don't want to act like there was no mistake. However, I want you to remember what I wrote in that article. I am not running away from it. What happened in America at the inauguration is not the end of the story, emphasis in the original, please read those articles in light of events since. They show why biblical prophecy can be trusted. Saying Trump would return was a bold claim, but if you understand prophecy, in a sense, it actually wasn't so bold. Because when God says something will happen, we can trust him, let me remind you of what I wrote in that second article, I based my forecast about President Trump on two prophetic passages I have repeatedly emphasized over the past four years. I know these prophecies will be fulfilled, I am 99.9% .9 sure my understanding of them is correct, and anyone can prove them, one is in Amos 7. It speaks of a time when God is preparing to measure the destruction of end-time Israel, the United States and Britain, and he says, I will not again pass by them anymore, verse 8. This is just before severe correction comes on these nations if they do not repent. They are receiving their final warning, the last part of verse 9 says this is about the house of Jeroboam. Verse 10 says, then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam king of Israel. Verse 11 says, For thus Amos saith, Jeroboam shall die, if he does not repent. Verse 12 describes a message from Jeroboam that Amaziah delivers to God's people. From verse 14 on is about the great tribulation, the time of suffering that closes the age of man.so the entire context of God saying I will not again pass by them anymore is the time of Jeroboam, an end-time antitype of King Jeroboam II of Israel, whom I have said is Donald Trump. You can read Amos 7 and see how it looks like one flowing event. There is no hint of a gap or pause in Jeroboam's reign. So you can see why I wrote the article as I did. This is clearly a prophecy of the very end for this nation, and Jeroboam is in power. This part of the prophecy has not yet been fulfilled. Based on this prophecy alone, we can be sure God is going to return Donald Trump to power sooner or later. The second prophecy I have highlighted is in 2 Kings 14 verses 26-27, For the Lord saw the affliction of Israel, that it was very bitter, for there was not any shut up, nor any left, nor any helper for Israel. And the Lord said not that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam the son of Josh. This passage is history about this ancient king, but it is also prophecy. It is from the section of the Bible called the Former Prophets. It was canonized by a prophet and preserved for thousands of years for us today. It is prophecy. One thing is certain, God is going to bring Mr. Trump back. We know he's coming back, it's in the prophecy. It's just a matter of when, this work has a lot of supporters. We also have a lot of critics. I hope every one of them can see the unlikely way these events are developing.
I am not saying this to praise myself but to glorify God and to defend his prophecies and his truth. What a spectacular vindication of the more sure word of prophecy. 2 Peter 1 verse 19. Never have there been such crazed efforts to destroy a man politically, and never have they backfired so spectacularly. That is because these people are fighting God. That is a battle they can never win when Donald Trump returns to the presidency, know that God prophesied it and he brought it to pass.